What's going on guys, Ryan here with Jedi Patrol. Today we're going to cover my top 5 favorite Star Wars Funko Pops in my collection. And I can't wait to get started with this. So let's get on with it. If you don't, this, don't pay attention to these guys back here. This is just, I got some, uh, some Jedi here trying to watch over this video to make sure I do it correctly. Uh, one of them being, uh, well, you know, let me show you, let me just show you. This, uh, yes I did grab him up there by the head. Uh, this is the Sith. The Sith, Dark Side, Anakin Skywalker uh, by Hot Toys, guys. Look at this thing. And I haven't done a video on this thing, but look at the freaking realist. Look at that. If that doesn't look freaking sinister, oh man, look at those eyes. That's crazy cool, right? So I haven't done a, a video on that one ever. I think I just did an unboxing on it on a live stream one night. And uh, I kind of just put him in the cabinet. But I just recently picked this one up, and I will be doing a video on this guy. Uh, he just arrived. This is the Revenge of the Sith. Obi-Wan Kenobi, look at that. Crazy, crazy realism. I mean, it's this is, I love these things. So anyways, uh, I figured I'd put them right there. They can watch over us while we take care of this video. All right, so let's get into the top five favorite Star Wars Funko Pops in my collection. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I have, um, in my top five, there are, uh, there are eight, there's eight of them. So I, and, and I couldn't decide. So I was like, you know, I just kept adding stuff to it. So, and there's probably more in the other room of the collection. Like I have pops in two other rooms of the house. Um, but these are the ones I could find in this room. And I figured we, instead of five, we do eight. So let's go on with it. So one of them is a very recent pickup. Actually, my friend Kent Pull Live, who was on our live stream the other night. If you want to check out his channel, put a link right here. Definitely check him out. He is awesome. Uh, he was able to pick this up for me, and I've never seen it. Like, I missed it online. It dropped, and I missed it. And it is the Walgreens exclusive Django Fett. Look at that one. So this one's super, super cool. It's got the flame effect going on there. Blast it off. And there is a Smuggler's Bounty box uh, exclusive of Boba Fett, which I need, and I I need to I need to I gotta get it. I don't know. This one's super awesome. Really like this one. Uh, so Django Fett's gonna make it. I, I I guess I had these in order from least to best. I think I that's how I don't know. Uh, but Django Fett's pretty awesome. Let me know if you have this one. If you were able to get this one, uh, I missed it when it went live like three or four times on the website. Totally missed that, and uh, super glad that he was he found it in store, like. And this was like two weeks ago. So if you're looking for this, check your Walgreens. They might be getting it because he found this actually in stores. So that one's, I, I just like it. That's cool. I got to get the Boba Fett though. I got to get that one. All right, next one's going to be, let's go with this one, uh, from a brand new wave, the Clone Wars wave. This dropped off 2018 NYCC. I completely blew the prediction on this thing. I thought Hot Topic was going to be flooded with these things. I thought they'd be just freaking warming the shelves like... Um, yeah, uh, what the heck was the guy's name? Uh, I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I've got three of them. What the heck? What's his name? Wow. That's not good. Anyways, I got three of them. I don't even know. Comment down below. Let me know. I can't. I'm like mind blank right there. Um, regardless of that. Anyways, um, Cad Bane. Man, I know you guys are like screaming at the channel. Screaming at the, Ah, this freaking Cad Bane. It's Cad Bane. All right. I thought, because my Hot Topic still has Cad Bane, just throwing that out there. Um, <laughs> I thought this thing would be warming the shelves like Cad Bane, but it wasn't. It was gone, and we were able to grab one. And uh, Captain Rex, right? This one is absolutely awesome. Who doesn't love Captain Rex? Uh, I love when he showed up in the uh, Clone Wars, and he says, you can call me Captain or Sir. One of the two, <laughs> you can call me that. When he was talking to the Shinies in Clone Wars. It's got his dual pistols going on there. I mean, just, just an awesome pop. Really like it. The colors pop. I did go through a few of these when I was picking this one out because the paint apps weren't all that great. Um, but if you were to get this one, I think this thing's going for like 50 or 60 bucks right now. It's kind of hard to get. Uh, I need to fix that sticker. That's kind of, it's kind of crooked. I don't know if that bothers anybody else, but I probably should fix that. But anyways, so Rex, I can't believe I had a mind just on Cad Bane. I've got three of them sitting in the room downstairs. He didn't make the top five um but he is a pretty cool pop all right so let's go with uh let's go with this one this would be number seven eight six number six can't even count um this was another walgreens exclusive I don't, star wars goes to walgreens quite a lot it's walgreens hot topic walgreens hot topic that's typically how it works out i think um this one 
<laughs> this one is there's a reason I got I got this guy up here because of this. All right, so you ready? Walgreens exclusive Sith Anakin. Now I was able to get this one online, uh, and I'm super happy I was able to do that. I mean, look at those eyes. Look at that. That's crazy, right? He's got his uh his saber there, and just it's just awesome. I find it interesting they put it in the line with Padme, which I forgot a pad. I have Padme. Padme's on the list. I just left it downstairs. Um. But I have I have that Padme right there from uh, ECCC, I think it was. Uh, but Padme, Obi-Wan, all these things are here with this super rare vaulted Qui-Gon Jinn. Like, how did this guy... I don't know. Whatever. Uh, but I think that's super cool. Let's take a look just real quick. Like, I've got Hot Toys Anakin. I've got uh, Pop Anakin right there. Oh, I guess I can turn it that way. Probably. Won't. Look at that. Dude. Uh, now, if you can't afford this one, which I understand, he's like... 250 300 bucks uh you can get this one which i don't know what this is going for right now but it's a pretty cool pop so all right anakin you're right here for me and uh try not to fall over on my video that'd be awesome all right so let's move on to number five uh this one actually my son got me this one for christmas and i thought it was awesome and so i wanted to put it in this collection because i don't really own a lot of older star wars stuff most of the stuff has gotten newer uh, but he grabbed this one for me and it was super awesome of him and uh it is the og slave leia look at that thing super cool i've never taken this one out of the box but you can see back there she's got the little ponytail thing going on and um that's a cool pop that's a very cool pop so we got the blue box there slave leia very very cool and um i don't know i think it's cool i don't think they'll ever make another one of these again i think that's the last one we'll see of that particular version of leia of course we got plenty of other versions we got general leia we got just so many versions all right so where do i go from here the next the next four the next the next four are gonna be hard to choose from so let's go with uh okay let's go with this one um no nah, let's go let's go with this one all right we're gonna we're gonna change up all right so number four in the list number four uh this one I actually bought on ebay because i was not able to get this done in person and i don't have a lot of autograph pops I actually have maybe five or six or something i don't know how many i got um not a lot but um this one i had to have one of my absolute favorite characters in clone wars I, honestly in star wars in general one of my favorite characters and i think a lot of people are, are kind of are with me on that um but uh, it is ahsoka tano hot topic exclusive however this one this one is autographed by the voice actress ashley Eckstein. check that out guys right there ashley Eckstein, ahsoka tano hot topic exclusive very cool got the saber behind the back the one arm force pose on the front i mean let's look at that that is a super cool pop. Really like it. And the orange they used to sign it is awesome as well. So I think that's awesome. And it did come with a certificate of authenticity, which is amazing. And um, yeah, I, I, I just, I like it. One of my favorite Star Wars characters, don't have, if Hot Toys, if you're listening, Hot Toys, give me a Hot Toy. Give me a six scale figure of that. Sideshow, if you're listening, give me a statue of Ahsoka. I mean, like, give me a good one and I will absolutely put it in the collection. I would be, mm, I'd be love it. All right, so number three. This one's heavy. I just picked this up for like for the first time in a while. This one's heavy. This was actually sent to me by a viewer, and forgive me, I don't remember who because I had it a while. Um, so if you're in the chat, you're watching this, comment down below, let me know. But thank you. I just can't. I, I tried to go back and like find it in my um, and my messages and emails. I, I couldn't find it. I don't know why. It's just it's hard to find stuff sometimes. Um, but the, this person was kind enough to send this to me, and I absolutely one of my favorites very cool pop this is luke skywalker with the hood jedi luke uh from star wars celebration from the actual con not a shared exclusive 2017 orlando star wars celebration uh hooded luke right there how awesome is that look at that got the green saber got the hood on got the 40th anniversary star wars sticker going on there and this was you had to be at star wars celebration uh, in Orlando to get this one because that's that particular sticker. Um, and I don't really care too much about stickers, but the fact that a viewer sent this to me uh, meant a lot to me, and it was very cool. And uh, that's why I made it on top of the list because that's awesome. I actually have that hot toy, but he's over there in that cabinet over there holding up Vader for right now. Uh, Vader's having a hard day, so got Luke helping him out. All right, so let's go with uh, let's go with this one. Number two, number two. Um, 
let's see here. This one I picked up at Atlanta Comic Con last year. In fact, uh, I did a whole video about this. In fact, the whole three pack was there. This was the very first time the three pack all met in person for the first this is the first time ever at this event. So this means a lot to me. Um, and it is another autograph pop. And it is super awesome. And I can't wait to get it signed by one additional person. If I can make that happen sometime, that'll be awesome. Uh, but it's the Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Box exclusive from Star Wars Rebels, the villain, Darth Maul, signed by the man himself, Ray Park. So there it is, guys. Autographed by the actor Ray Park right there uh and it says sith rules and uh right there and we got ray park sith rules ray park and i love this and not only do i like the pop because the pop is just amazing with the the spikes and the double saber and the whole thing um the signature is awesome in fact i spent like 30 minutes deciding on what color to have it assigned uh with but when we went with the yellow i think it pops pretty well and uh, Rebels was an awesome series. Uh, I hope they continue it, you know, in some form or fashion, like what happens to Ezra and all the, I would like to know. Um, but really happy with this. And um, that was, that kind of made on number two. So we got one more. Um, number one in my top five of eight pops <laughs> in my Star Wars collection. And I'll probably be picking up some more grails in this, uh, this line as well. So comment down below, let me know which ones I should pick up because uh, I'm kind of on the hunt for a couple things. And, uh, We'll see how it goes out. But this I actually picked up on, uh, I actually bought this. I bought this from a viewer and um, I bought it last summer or last spring or something like that. I don't remember exactly when, uh, but I picked it up and I was super happy to have it. Cause honestly, it's one, this is one of those that you think you'd never own. It's one of those. And uh, and I do own it because it's awesome. So he gave me a fantastic deal on it. And I was super happy to pick it up. And um, it is New York Comic Con 2016 limited to 2,000 pieces, 2,000, 2,000 pieces, limited to 2,000 pieces, uh, Qui-Gon Jinn, Qui-Gon Jinn. Now, I will tell you this one right here is super hard to find. I mean, only 2,000 of them, right? But I mean, look at this thing. On the back, we only have two. We've got Qui-Gon Jinn and, and uh, General Grievous. I do have General Grievous, and he is in my display cabinet over there. And I, I just said, I couldn't, I don't know where the box is. It's somewhere. Um, so he didn't make it to the list. But honestly, the ones I picked, I think I picked a pretty good one. And maybe you disagree. Maybe you've got some other favorite Star Wars pops you want to, in your collection or you, something you want. Comment down below. Let me know which ones uh, you're looking for, which one's your favorite. Um, but uh, really super happy to have, to have Qui-Gon in the collection. And I do have, they are making a six scale figure. Hot Toys is making a Qui-Gon Jinn. It will be here. I will get it. It's not coming until next it's like spring or January or something. I don't know when it's coming. Um, but we do have Qui-Gon Jinn coming. We also have uh, Darth Maul. We have a Darth Maul coming at the end of the year. I hope, unless they push it to January. Um, we have a six scale Darth Maul coming with the speeder bike, the double saver. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be fantastic. Can't wait to do that. Uh, very soon, very soon, uh, I will be doing a new Hot Toys collection video. It's been quite a while since I've done that and the collection has changed quite a bit. Honestly, so all these six scale figures you see in the back, I've got more back here you can't even see. I've, they're around the room, just different places. Uh, stay tuned for a collection video on that. I think that'd be pretty awesome to uh, show off that a little bit. It has changed quite a lot. And um, if, yeah, that's what we got going on. So guys, as always, collect what you like. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button. What are you waiting on? Hit the thumbs up button because it just feels good to do things. It, people like clicking buttons, so just click that button and click the like button. Uh, don't click the thumbs down button. We, people don't like clicking that button. But anyways, guys, as always, click what you like. We'll see you next time.